Welcome back everyone, this is Coaster Daddy, and today I am talking about the four new ride concepts unveiled by Intamin Amusement Rides. These were officially unveiled on Intamin's YouTube channel very recently. We knew about at least one of these before, now they've officially unveiled the model and we have more information about it, but I'm going to just dive into all four of these models and discuss my thoughts about them. They've been quite controversial in the coaster industry and many people have split opinions about these rides and we'll get into that in a little bit as we talk about them. So to start things off, I'm going to talk about the Ultra Splash. The Ultra Splash model is one of two new water rides that Intamin presented a concept for and straight up this looks pretty much exactly like the Mock Rides Power Splash model which in my opinion is pretty disappointing. It's the exact same layout. It has a similar type of car. You know, it has the splashdown pad. It has the airtime hill. It does have single rail track, so the track itself is different from the Mach model, and I'm sure this will feel a little bit different than the Mach Rides model does, but overall, I honestly am pretty disappointed that Intamin really just kind of straight up copied the Mach layout and essentially made the same ride. Still though, this looks like a cool water ride and hopefully a couple parks get one of these. I think it'd be great to see what one of these look like and how the ride experience actually is. Next up we have the other water coaster model. This is called a Giga Splash and no it is not 300 feet tall. It's actually only 131 feet tall. It has a 285 degree rotating panoramic lift which is kind of cool looking but it could also be a downfall of this model. I don't know how reliable these are going to be. Surely these are going to be very expensive. I mean, we're talking about Intamin here. Intamin's already aren't cheap. And then you have this sophisticated lift technology, and I just don't see it being that reliable, and I'm sure it's going to be pretty expensive too. This has a 87 degree drop, which is pretty awesome. There's an airtime hill, which says it provides negative 1G. That's pretty darn good for a water ride. There is a giga-sized splash zone, which is where the name Giga Splash comes from. Of course, it has the interactive water channel, and honestly, this feature looks pretty cool. Overall, I think this actually looks like a really good water ride, very thrilling for sure, with that 87 degree drop. So overall, I'll be very curious to see if any parks actually get the Giga Splash, because I think this looks like a really good water ride, actually. Next up, we have the Vertical LSM Coaster. As you guys are probably going to notice with this model, it looks quite similar at a glance to the Skyrocket 2 model by Premier Rides. Despite its many similarities, there are quite a few differences as well. It's being marketed as the most compact triple launch coaster in the world, so take that for what it is. It has three launches, obviously. It actually has the world's first upside down launch, which is very cool looking. But to me, this just kind of reeks of downtime. I cannot see this being that reliable. We know Intamin's track record and the fact that they're doing a upside down launch. It just doesn't seem like it'll be that reliable. But going into the elements, there is the world's first zigzag loop, which to me looks very similar to a non-inverting loop. But instead of not inverting, you do invert. But it's not a regular loop. It twists you around one way and then flips you back around and then you do another inversion. It looks pretty cool. It says, it can do a single or double cycle so there is some variety as far as operating the ride there's also the world's first torpedo dive inversion which is what they're calling this and this element honestly does look so cool this is a just a really cool looking inversion it's almost like a zero g roll slash corkscrew thing i don't really know how to describe it but you can see it here it's pretty awesome looking pretty funky i like that Overall, I think the vertical LSM coaster looks like it's going to provide some really good hang time, especially with that upside down launch, some really cool, unique inversions. It's going to be very thrilling and very compact, and I think it probably will be more comfortable than a Skyrocket 2. I haven't been on a Skyrocket 2 myself yet, but most Skyrocket 2s have the comfort collars. This is just going to have lap bars, it seems, based on the concept rendering. So, the vertical LSM coaster, it looks great. It's kind of disappointing that this is Intamin we're talking about. Intamin is known for innovating, and it seems like, once again, with this model, they are taking a lot of inspiration from something else, that being the Skyrocket 2 model. This looks a lot like the Skyrocket 2, and because of that, I don't know that a lot of parks are going to be jumping for this model from Intamin. I'm sure the Premier Rides Skyrocket 2 is going to be cheaper than this is, and 
I think it's just going to be more appealing for a lot of parks out there, but I could definitely see a few of these vertical LSM coasters being built, and I think they'll provide a very thrilling experience overall. These look like pretty good rides, to be honest. There's not a whole lot bad I can say about these. I'm excited to see how the vertical LSM coaster plays out. The last ride we're going to talk about is the one that's probably the most exciting, and this is the Hot Racer. Now, the Hot Racer is Intamin's take on a single rail coaster. Now, I'm not going to get really into this here. I don't know the whole comprehensive history myself. I know a lot of people are saying Intamin basically is copying RMC by doing a single rail here, which once again, you know, it does seem like they're taking a lot of inspiration from other manufacturers. I do want to remind everybody that RMC didn't technically invent the single rails, though. There were actually single rail coasters built long before the RMC Raptors were ever built. I just wanted to put that out there. So whatever you may think, about this. I do believe they probably were taking a lot of inspiration from RMC with this. However, Intamin's version of the single rail is going to feature launches. These are also going to have single rider rows in the cars. They're offering three different layouts here, although I'm quite sure that they will offer custom layouts as well. Intamin is all about building what parks want, and if they want a custom layout, They'll get it, I'm sure. All three of these layouts they provided, they're all quite different, and they all look very cool. A lot of people are pointing out that one of these concepts looks a lot like West Coast Racers, and yeah, it does. It, it looks a lot like West Coast Racers. Overall, I think that Intamin's take on the single rail looks amazing. All three of these layouts just look phenomenal, and I just have to say, the Overdrive layout, which features that world's first wall ride dive, which is like a modified wave turn that sort of like dives down really sharply, that looks awesome. That's a really cool looking element. Overall, I think these Intamin single rails look like amazing rides. I think Intamin is going to provide an awesome version of this concept, even if it is very similar to the RMC Raptor, which I think in a lot of ways, once again, this is very similar but I think Intamin is trying to offer their own take on it with the launches and whatnot. Very curious to see how this plays out. I honestly see the Hot Racer model being probably the most successful, perhaps, out of all four of these new models presented by Intamin. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about these new models? Are you disappointed that they're doing things similar to what's being done in the industry? Do you think they're going to offer a drastically different new approach to these rides? Let me know all that. Be sure to like my page, Coaster Daddy, on Facebook. Follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. And like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.